Welcome to another custom Crisis Rules video by Super Fun Stuff. I'm making my way through the list of characters I've created and making special rules for them. Today we talk about Iron Spider, so let's check them out. Iron Spider should be an interesting attacking type character, with moves that enhance his abilities to put the hurt on his enemies. The goal is to make a Spider-Man that is different from the one that comes in the core set. So let's see what we can do. We start with his name, Iron Spider, and his alter ego, Peter Parker. Now let's go to his stats. He has a 5 stamina because of his suit, long movement because he can swing with his webs, a size of 2, and a threat level of 4. For defense, he has 4 for physical, 4 for energy, and 3 for mystic. So this shows us that his suit adds a little more protection. For his attacks, we have 3 of them. First is Strike, not really surprising. Strike is a range of 2 and a strength of 5 with no cost. This attack gains stamina for the damage dealt, and he has a special ability called Spider Sting. When a wild is rolled, Spider Sting says that after attack is resolved, the enemy loses a power. Next we have Enhanced Webbing. This is a range of 4, strength of 3, and no power. At first you probably think this attack is weak because it's a strength of 4, but let's see what it can do. First, after you resolve the attack, you can attack a different enemy too. So basically this is a double attack that requires you to pick two different characters. So that's actually six attacks in total. Also, it applies a condition of slow. Slow is cool because it limits the mobility of a character so they can only move a distance of small. And lastly, we have Maximum Spider, and it's a range of two, strength of eight, and a power cost of two. There's no special rules associated with this, and this is basically a big power attack. It's a straightforward, lots of attack, and it's very reminiscent of the Marvel vs. Capcom games. Now to his superpowers. First up is Kill Mode Activated. I kind of took this from the movie Endgame, but this is an active power with a cost of 2. This skill allows Iron Spider to add 3 more dice to his next attack. Let's say he uses Kill Mode Activated with Maximum Spider. That is a strength 11 attack. Pretty brutal. Then we have a superpower called Stark's Greatest Achievement. Stark said that this suit was one of his best works, and that means something. This superpower is an innate power and says that if Iron Spider is attacking or defending, every wild dice roll grants an additional success. This means that he can really rack up the attacks, but also defend himself a little bit better too. Next we have a superpower called Nanotechnology. This is an innate ability which says at the end of Spider-Man's activation, he can roll dice equal to the amount of damage he occurred, up to 3. On crits and wiles, he regains the stamina. So this is kind of a self-heal type of thing because of his Iron Spider suit that uses nanotech. We got to see that in Infinity War and Endgame with Tony's suit changing shapes. And lastly is Wall Crawler. It's an innate power. This means that when he moves, he counts as size 5. This allows him to go over stuff quickly and easily. It's a must-have Spidey move. And that is it for Iron Spider. Iron Spider should be a strong attacker type character. He has several moves that can really get him in to dish out the damage. With a self heal, he should be able to survive a little bit longer too. I see this character being a decent frontline fighter. He's fast, rolls a lot of attack dice, and can kind of heal. He doesn't have too many crazy condition causing things, other than slow which can be a big one. I wanted to really display Iron Spider's suit and what it can do. Plus, I want to make it a bit different from the standard Spidey that's in the core set. I hope you like the rules I made, please let me know what you think. Thank you to all my patrons and supporters, and thank you for watching.